Hi all, uh, this is uh, we again, Achinta and Shrinik, uh, shooting the third, uh, third podcast of Casual Conversations. Today we are going to tell a very transformational story of someone we know uh, from a section. Uh, so we have Saloni with us. She is someone who, have, uh, who has completely transformed and evolved in this IMA journey. Um, I know her, ki, like she was quite struggling in the initial days of PGP-1 in different courses. Uh, like we the sec- uh, section B people have a distinct memory of Saloni in term 1 uh, final back submission like at the end of the submission like her laptop just crashed and lost half of her submission there she was like we saw her like, like she was just shattered there and like feeling very vulnerable like from that time in PGP1 she ended with like rank 1 in FABM course which is uh, in itself very tremendous also, she won several uh, case competitions uh, in the second year with the likes of Reliance TUP, Hull Price. Also, she has a patent to her name, is a founder of a startup and they have uh, got placed in a reputed firm. Hi, Soloni, what's up? Hi, uh, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm also good, doing good. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so, can you please tell us about your life journey? Like, before you came to IMA, uh, how was your life like and what made you uh, come to IMA? Exactly. So my life was pretty dramatic in terms of uh, especially, you know, getting into colleges and uh, also uh, generally people used to tell me that I'm quite underconfident. So uh, so even I got into computer science after plus two and then somehow I got into this through technology and uh, it's been, so there also I think I got a lot of opportunities to learn. Uh, but still, you know, uh, I had this idea also that you mentioned about my patent and everything. But then also I was not able to take it further. And uh, uh, then I planned on, uh, you know, uh, uh, preparing for that, uh, appearing for the same exam. Because uh, there was a, I think, a summit, every summit, wherein I got a chance to come to Iron and the Bar. And uh, I think that day I decided that I really wanted to join Iron and the Bar. And for that, for the same, I started preparing, I took coaching. And uh, then finally, I think I made it to IMA. And uh, yeah, it is the best thing that have, has ever happened to me. Got it, got it. So uh, now that Saloni, you finally made it to IMA, uh, we have a short clip of your trends to show you, in which uh, they have a few messages for you. What's your first impression of Saloni? She struck me as a very sweet person. She had that childlike innocence. She is extremely innocent and at the same time very inquisitive. What do you like the most about Saloni? What do I like the most about her? I think that she's a fighter. She's very caring with uh, pretty much everyone around her. Did you see any change in her in the past two years? Over the course of time, you know, she warmed up the situation and I would say Post two years, now she is much more tougher and, uh, you know, she is ready to get on with any challenge than ever before. Over the past two years, I've seen her evolve and flourish into a much more confident version of herself. Right. So, uh, now that you have heard both Sriram and uh, uh, and Manisha, uh, I mean, how would you describe yourself as, you know, someone who was initially innocent, childlike, to now a very strong, tough and confident Saloni and I'm just using the adjectives which your friends use for you. So how do you define this change that happened uh, on you in the past two years? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, initially it was very difficult for me at INA because uh, given there are, everyone is so talented, everyone is from such a good college and um, I mean, it was very difficult for me uh, to actually, you know, get along with the people also and also with the coaches. But then, uh, I think with Manisha and Shivam, uh, they were uh, there in my first study group. And, uh, yeah, it was very difficult for me to even talk to people, but they were always there for me. Even Shivam and Manisha used to tell me that we are like your mom and dad, we are your IME mom and dad. So I think uh, uh, because of them, actually, you know, uh, it's been a kind of family, uh, it's a kind of family that I got in the one itself. And they were always there for me. And they, they used to always keep, kept, they always kept checking on me, you know, if I'm doing fine or not, how I'm doing, how is my health. And also they used to always encourage me, you know, uh, because I used to think that I don't know how to make PPT, I'm not good at quant. But they were always there for me. I, I remember Shiram used to sit with me 
and you know uh, help me she used to help me solve my quant questions and also manisha she used to help me with excel questions so i think these people have actually helped me a lot so a lot of people mm-hmm. other people were also there for me always but these people are uh, you know they are like family to me and uh, i mean uh, yeah mm-hmm. they are like family i mean i don't have any better word to describe these people mm-hmm. okay so i mean uh, it was really modest of you to you know uh, give all the credits to both uh, shilam and manisha but uh, my question more uh, i mean i wanted you to highlight a bit more upon how you you changed in the past two years i mean what what was what was it that happened to you in the past two years that made you such a rough and tough you know and confident alone so how were the struggles in the initial phase and how did you actually change Okay. Uh, in the initial, uh, you know, when I entered I, it was very difficult for me. In terms of one, my father promised me that he would take me back if I get B grade in any of the courses. And because I thought that I don't deserve to be in that place, and also like people are very talented, I won't be able to match up to their, you know, standards. But then eventually, uh, you know, I got a very nice people in my study group, like in the first round in the beginning. Then trying to find the second study group, and in third group group also I had Akshay and Vidya and Vinay. I think these people were always there to help me, and uh, uh, and they were always there to support me and encourage me that whatever work I'm doing, it's in the right direction. Uh, and even Vartika, she used to tell me I should be more, I should, should feel more confident about whatever work I'm doing. and i think these all things help me uh, you know uh, in help, help me in believing in myself and also the safe competitions that i am i think they provided me a wonderful platform uh, to you know present myself in front of you know uh, a jury of uh, like they were exchanges for me and such uh, big people from uh, industry i think that was uh, a kind of a uh, transformation for me because there uh, i not only gain confidence but also uh, i started taking more initiative and uh, i used to work harder and also i used to i mean i, I started believing in myself i started believing in whatever i uh, i used to do i think that is mm-hmm. something which actually helped me uh, in doing this and also professors in at iim i think they are very much approachable and uh, mm-hmm. uh, especially in second year because we i'm an sdm student so the class size is a very small due to one on one interaction with professors it actually helped me understanding a lot about myself my capabilities and also mm-hmm. i actually started working on my weaknesses then i think that mm-hmm. was something which helped me you know become more confident and stronger in this career mm-hmm. okay okay so saloni you mentioned that uh, you know in the initial phase uh, you were there a lot of pressure when you came to iim ahmedabad pressure from your own side you know personal mm-hmm. pressure or maybe from other different angles as well so you think that this pressure is something which uh, better your progress or is it something which actually help you you know go ahead move ahead yeah initially i mean uh, i was very stressed you know because probably um, actually my college uh, got over and my exam and everything got over at uh, on 8th of june and 10th of june my iim class started i didn't complete any of my preparatory courses i mean it was completely new for me i think mm-hmm. i had a lot of pressure uh, but yes initially i took it in a very wrong way actually and uh, because of that i actually uh, started my you know stressing myself that much that i was not able to focus on anything or i actually think that this is not possible only for me not being i won't be able to survive over here but mm-hmm. i think eventually when i met a lot of people and also after some time when i was not at all doing good i realized that probably it is an opportunity for me to prove myself and to learn from uh, all these things that i'm facing so i think all my family some of my friends they played an important role over here they didn't mm-hmm. actually encourage me that whatever i'm doing i'll be able to do it nicely so i think mm-hmm. here the major uh, difference is like how you view things Uh, mm-hmm. So because I was thinking that I can't, I I won't be able to take that much stress. I won't be able to handle this much of pressure. So probably everything was going into some more. It, it was becoming more negative for me. When I mm-hmm. when I tried to actually uh, look at uh, upon as an opportunity, I think it actually helped me grow. Maybe very mm-hmm. slowly, but actually you know 
it it was uh, like it was it actually helped me in uh, transforming myself the kind of person I was on PGP one and then uh, uh, the kind of person I became in PGP two. Amazing, amazing, great. You said that uh, you were sort of struggling with academics quite uh, in the first uh, first year, uh, but also you said that after term when you started taking on case competitions. How did you manage those competitions? Like as you said, like you were on one hand you were struggling with the cards, also at the same time you have taken on case competitions. How did you find that balance? And uh... so I think uh, even the kind of concepts we study in class, it is like all case methodology, uh, and even in case competitions we get some kind of real uh, business situation. So I think I was actually able to relate more, and uh, one and second I was actually able to. Whatever I used to, uh, you know, do as a part of case competition, when I either I used to get any kind of recognition through this competition, that actually gave me more confidence. And even I think, uh, you know, especially in case based exams and all, uh, I think it added to my creativity a little bit, and uh, which helped me probably, you know, uh, coming in, coming up with more substantial solutions to anything I used to do. So I think that is how those both the things were linked. And uh, uh, yes, I used to utilize my time more effectively. For example, on weekends, if I used to take some kind of break, I stop taking that break so that I can focus on case competitions too. Uh, that was primarily so that I can have a good CV. As I mentioned, that I, I there are a lot of talented people around me, and uh, also yeah, because I wanted to learn because that actually helped me learning you know real business situations. So, uh, so when you mentioned uh, a lot about competitions uh, and how that really helped you, you know, gain your creativity and all. So, I mean, uh, did it actually also help you in, you know, founding your own company, which is SPN Bioplastics, in in any manner? Uh, yes, actually, uh, you know, uh, as I mentioned that before coming to IMA, I just had this one idea with me, you know, mm-hmm. uh, that was also from the you know research and development point of view. Whereas IMA actually helped me in shaping that particular idea into a business model, and you know it actually provided me opportunity to present my this complete you know idea and everything in front of a lot of people. For example, CIE supported me a lot when there was competitions like Alliance, Master Plan, which actually helped me in improving my business model, mm-hmm. and also in the same way I was able to you know take it further. From the ideation stage to the IMA prototype development stage, so yeah. I think I'm just waiting for my product to be ready, and I think it actually helped me, you know, making giving a shape to my idea, and so that today my company is a digital company, and uh, initially uh, I had no idea about where I will take that idea, how to pursue that idea, but the kind mm-hmm. of resources that I am under that and the kind of platform that I am gave me. Uh, mm-hmm. It took my idea to some another level, and I really re- received a lot of appreciation from my classmates, from my professors, and also other organizations. I think that uh, also gives me confidence to pursue it, pursue it at such a level. Got it. Uh, if you can tell a bit more about like uh, what the idea is and uh, what's the inspiration behind that idea. Uh, yeah. So uh, talking about the idea, it was actually you know it it came from so we had this village option program in my college uh, undergrad college uh, where we used to go to a village and actually stay over there do some some kind of social activity. So there I met a fa- family of a farmer who actually committed suicide. He was a potato farmer and he do poor supply chain and storage facility. Uh, the farmers uh, don't get right price for the produce. So I was thinking that what can be done of this idea. So basically, I am working on making biodegradable plastic from waste potatoes uh, because potatoes are a source of uh, starch. So therefore, we can make a, a kind of polymer which has properties similar to that of polyethylene and polypropylene. So uh, these are the actually potential contributors to this uh, petroleum-based plastic. Which has caused a lot of pollution, and uh, also government has taken a lot of steps to ban these petroleum-based plastics. So I think, uh, yeah, this is my idea. Got it. So, like, how is government of India helping you in this project? Okay. So, uh, yes. So, uh, talking about the government of India, 
I and my brother actually picked uh, our, our plan in uh, do a, uh, in our competition by government of India and the Startup India program. And uh, there we met this uh, we met this uh, a person, a person uh, So he's our uh, mentor to our startup process. So he actually helped uh, us, you know, in connecting uh, our, our you know this business to uh, uh, this uh, government of India. So we got registered in the Startup India program, and under this we are getting a lot of uh, mentorship and also many kinds of benefits. Uh, we are getting a lot of uh, you know. Uh, incubator cells are actually helping us taking in uh, uh, the uh, you know taking our idea further. For example, the uh, development of uh, websites, and also they are also helping us in connecting with very various industry uh, industry scopes so that we can actually work on uh, 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 making our products. So basically, they have actually helped us in passing this process of uh, you know uh, us uh, from an idea to coming to the market. So this is how government of India is actually helping us, mainly through mentorship. Uh, they are also helping us in connecting with various kind of investors, so that we can, you know, uh, uh, get some kind of funding, especially to make our products. And also this minister, uh, member of parliament, Sohm uh, Prakash, she's minister of industry, industry, state, and commerce. He actually gave us a letter of application, and also he told us that if you want to set up plant or if you need any kind of support, especially in Punjab. Uh, in that uh, Sukhjit Mega Food Park, uh, he told that he will be definitely there for us and he will help us in making things faster. Uh, that's great. That's just tremendous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, amazing. That was like you talked about the entire journey and you know your struggles and all. Uh, but so suddenly now that you have an experience of you know founding your own company at one place and. You know, also excelling at the same time in IIM Ahmedabad as well, uh, and ending up with an IR1 in FSBM program. What would your advice to maybe the upcoming batches would be, especially for people you know who struggle in the initial phase of of the two year or one year program which they are going through? So I think uh, it's very important to have uh, the, uh, you know to first to believe in uh, you know ourselves. And second, to keep learning, we should always have that kind of attitude. You know, uh, everything you, every every one you see, every every course you see, or every professor you met meet, I think it's very important to keep learning because at IIM, if I talk about, I have learned a lot from my peers. Uh, I mean, like I remember economic section used to be taken by Shrenik and class section things you used to take. So I think mm -hmm. it's very important to learn from you know people around us. And also, I think we should keep take, uh, you know, uh, part in a lot of challenges. It may be some competitions or any kind of, you know, uh, new initiatives that can help you learn and grow. I think learning is the most important thing because when I came to IMA, I had no idea how to make things also. And uh, it took me four days, uh, you know, to complete four days and nights to come up with my reliance on PPT. But I think today I can do it in much efficient way. I think, yeah, learning and practicing is something which will help, which helps me grow at IMA. Right. So you mentioned about learning from peers and all also. So are there any friends? You really look up to, or uh, you know, you were really inspired by them, and why, and the reason behind that. Mentioning about some of my closest friends, um, Nimesh and Yogeshwar are my best friends. Both were my sides in PGP one, and during these two years, we watched movies together, had dinner together, had long, long conversations, as they are always there to listen to my complaints. Uh, also, some of my special FABM batchmates are Sonu. Anurag, Karunakar, Abhinandan, Sumit, and Harjinder. Uh, these people are very talented. And uh, with Sonu, even I used to play badminton and go for cycling. As a FI manager, I met Poonam and Siddharth. We became really good friends and we worked on many projects together. Some of my special dommets are Shweta, Samyukta, Sargam, Shagun, Shubhi, Vaishali, with whom I have wonderful memories. Yeah, I think there are a lot of people, uh, you know, who inspired me, especially with all one. Uh, I was inspired mm -hmm. by this initiative of IMA wherein students con uh, conduct this remedy session for uh, students like me. Uh, because, you know, it's really helpful uh, because in class, there is the basis to, uh, to talk. 
so i mean like there are a lot of people like when i talk about some difficult courses like ima uh beat porn like uh, i think sort of injury helped us a lot and also mm-hmm. i remember that we used to uh, sit and explain even uh, when we were feeling very sleepy i think that really inspires uh, me and also i mean like uh, yeah mentioned about my startup sahi which i actually helped me a lot in this and even mm-hmm. i can consider a lot of other people they were always approachable uh, for example kvd and mm-hmm. uh, talking about other tough courses like fra i think you were always there you used to listen to us very calmly you know mm-hmm. uh, you helped us in understanding all those income segments and everything and uh, i mean yeah even if you have any training or always approach but i i remember i uh, used to sit uh, on the you know next row to my so i think we used to ask him a lot of questions in the weekend and the lot of people like shomna inspires me a lot he's very hard working sahil agarwal inspires me a lot he is extremely hard working i mean mm-hmm. uh, i i know that we he sleep he, you know he uh, we doesn't sleep for many days but uh, uh, the, the quality of work he gives is i mean commendable so a lot of people mm-hmm. actually that who inspire me at all i mean everyone mm-hmm. i think everyone has one quality in them uh, you know that uh, at i am everyone is so inspiring everyone is so talented uh, so i think we can learn everything at least one one thing from everyone hmm interesting interesting and also thanks a lot for all the praise uh, which you gave me and i believe other people would also be very thankful to you in this regard thanks a lot saloni uh, it was like quite quite inspirational talking to you uh, like you explaining about this journey about your plans yeah so uh, to our listeners if you know anyone like uh, who has such inspiring stories and some interesting sco- stories about i may do let us know and we will try to get in touch with them uh, thanks a lot everyone for listening signing off uh, shanley kachendran saloni bye